The Greenfield University, which had been in the news for the past few days because of the incidents of kidnapping and killing of students, is owned by an Igbo man identified as engineer and chief Simon Mwakata. Some weeks ago, gunmen attacked the university and kidnapped 20 students and three staff. About five students have reportedly been killed by the kidnappers while demanding 800 million naira as ransom from the parents. According to information, the founder has been running nursery, primary and secondary school in Kaduna before establishing the university, which was the first private university in, the Kadu in Kaduna. Chief Simon Uwakata was born on December 1953 to so the family of Okafo and Anne Uwakata. is a native of is a native of a Hills Umweri Anambra State. Hmm. He was the first as of the six children in the family. When he was eight years of age, his mother and passed away. So he was raised by his father, who also passed away at the age of ninety-four. Simon Umwakata and attended primary school in Umweri and his secondary school at Christ the King College in Onicha, Anambra State. He went to the Federal College of Agriculture, Umudike, in Abuja, states to further his tertiary education. And also in 1973, he also gained admission into the University of Ilefe and graduated in 1978. Then, how did Chief Simon Wagata go to Kaduna after schooling from elementary tertiary level in eastern Nigeria to extent? Of having all levels of education in the state, or the first private school, private university in Kaduna State. According to online reports, after Simon Uwakata graduated from the university, he was posted to Kaduna for his National Youth Service Course program and deployed to Kaduna Refinery and Petrochemical Company. Immediately after the completion of his youth service, he was employed by KRPC. Mm -hmm. On a full time basis, he worked for 35 years with KRPLC before retiring in 2023, 2013, sorry, as the managing of tin and drum manufacturing departments. Okay, um, okay. they are trying to tell us that now that uh, Simon Uwakata is the owner of Greenfield University, um, where children or students were kidnapped from it's unfortunate i don't think uh, that has nothing has anything to do with a uh, whether the kidnapping or whatever of course people want to relate it to one to the, well, one or uh to relate it to something <laughs> let me just put it that way but at least we are getting to know that is just from my own angle i don't know what other people might be thinking you know we see things from different perspective but from my own thinking they just want us to know that the owner of that school is a uh, from uh, Igbo extraction. No Igbo is clean in the old Nigeria. Crime is in their blood. Hmm. But Bele can clean man from clean lineage. Use your cleanser and clean the Igbo man. Attacker of goodwill. If I'm in your shoes, I would have established it in Anambra State. Hmm. Thank God you are not in his shoes. Thank God. Feel free to use your empty shoes to establish your audio school in the state. So upon the places upon all the places he decided to build a school in Kaduna State. No wonder the kidnappers went there to kidnap the Christian students. Not only Christians are kidnapped too. Of course, that is it. No free land for him in Igbo land. If they know he has money, they will just do the Jew and kill him. Why would they do the Jew? So don't uh, this one. Don't they have a, a, a big man in southeast uh, region? You know, just like I said, a lot of people see these things from different angles. But unfortunately, I don't know when the school started. I don't think the school is up to 10 years. I don't I don't think so. Unfortunately, it's not affected. The students are not affected. The students who went there, they are the ones who are affected. And we have a, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, across the country will be schooling in that place. And those are the people who are really affected. Of course, it's going to affect, it's not going to be too too happy he's not going to be happy with the incident that has happened but believe you me it has nothing to do with him but unfortunately the students and the parents of the kidnapped students federal college of agriculture okay 
Well, Abia says you can easily correct uh, the okay, okay, in Abia, not a uh, it is in Abia state, not a Abuja. Okay, that's a it's a prographical error. Uh, Federal College of Agriculture, Umudike, in Abia state, Abia state, not Abuja. Umakata, hmm, you tried no school in your state for of birth. Obia not just cited airport in Umweri, your own town to enhance development. Yours is in Kaduna. If everybody can do whatever you want to do, it's just unfortunate that uh, that kind of a thing is happening. See the owner of a Gatwick uh, airport in the UK, he's a Yoruba man. So it's just unfortunate that uh, that region it is what it is, the country it is what it is, and that is why you see that foreign investors cannot even come. So it's not to the man whether he situated it uh, in the north or wherever, he can situate it even outside the country. Even can't you see? Asari Dokubo, he has he owns university too now in in Kotonu. Maybe that is one of the reasons, of course, why he went there. Because when you begin to see all of these things, because even if this thing, I think uh, there was a time too in Lagos, I think once university, Caleb University too, and some other university that they went there to kidnap children. It's it boils down on the integrity of the country. That is what we need to be talking about. That is what we need to be talking about. In my opinion, where he situated the school is inconsequential because he has a, a fair knowledge of the area you know and he has worked there for how many years so i don't think uh, anybody should blame him but the government should be blamed for all of these things happening and the igbos are talking about biafra and so what we are talking about people who have uh, investments outside the country and so what what is the big deal about it <laughs> i'm surprised even as we speak don't have we not seen a lot of people a lot of nigerians they all other countries a uh, uh, citizenship what are we talking about if we have Igbo, if Igbo have if they have their own country a full animal can come there Igbo man can come there because of what because of the good things they will be seeing there and and vice versa it can be anywhere if the northern northerners or the north decide to do the right thing and it's booming everybody pam everybody wants to go to a place that is more comfortable and conducive to live to do business that is how the life is People live how many uh, 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 thousands of uh, whatever. So go leave their country, go to another people's country. So what are we saying about that? So because uh, uh, because of that, then what is the essence? What are all these people looking for in the north? If not that, they are the ones looking for trouble. I see no reason why, as a Nigerian, if you want to stay anywhere, you can stay anywhere. In as much you are living peacefully. All that tribes are in the north, they are living peacefully. But they are not causing problem. It is the same northerners that are causing problem everywhere. And they will be holding guns. So, to me, I see, I don't see anything wrong in the man opening university anywhere. Unfortunately, the government and the, the government should be held responsible. The state government and the federal government. So, guys, let's have your opinion in the comment section. Thank you.